Welcome back, everybody, this week to Doing It With Styles. Uh, we missed you last week. I uh, hope you had a uh, safe 4th of July. We did here. Nothing burned down. Uh, the studio's still here, our new studio. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we appreciate your support, and we're really glad you're coming back. Um, <clears throat> this week, I've got a, a, a really cool guest. Her name is Brittany Falcone. Brittany, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Brittany is the, I, I, I got to come up with a title for you mm -hmm. because you handle all of the broadcasting mm -hmm. for our Nevada judges, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so you don't have a title yet? Uh, broadcasting, that's about it. I know, but broadcasting what? <laughs> Are you the vice president of broadcasting? Are you um, the HMFIC of broadcasting? I am, I don't have a title yet, I guess. I, just broadcasting. Uh-oh. <laughs> No worries. Yeah. You don't have a title yet. I know. Okay, I'll come up with a title okay. for you. We'll, we'll figure something out here. Okay. Um, I know what our Nevada judges are, but some of the people that are watching may not know. So mm -hmm. what is our Nevada judges? So our Nevada judges is an organization. It's a judicial scrutiny organization that tracks judges based on their appeals, basically. If that makes sense. Um, whether they're upheld by the Supreme Court or pushed back for further review or stuff like that. So basically, um, you have a website. Mm, we do. Mm -hmm. Our Nevada judges. <clears throat> and you have all of the judges listed there who are currently serving, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And it's basically a, a snapshot of their track record. It is. They have an error rate um, that shows how well they're doing their job, basically. Okay. Um, a percentage rate that it's the best that we can do to give the public an idea of how they're doing their job. Um, it's the easiest way to track them, I guess you could say. There, there's been nothing like that prior yeah. to this. So you guys have been doing this for what, four years now? Um, since Five? 2014. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow. Time yeah. flies when it you're does. having fun. <laughs> it does. Um, where do you get your information? How do you, how, how do you, you know, do you call up the judges and say, hey, you know, how many times did you get appealed this Yeah, month? so, you know, Alex would be much more eloquent at explaining this, but basically he designed a program, a software, um, that can pull information from the databases of the courts that will let us know um, whether things are appealed or um, I'm sorry, whether they're remanded or affirmed, the appeals, and it goes into an algorithm uh, an algorithm of sorts that will, you know, track the error rate, if that makes so, any so sense. So it, it's, it's, this is all a matter of public record. It is. It's just that you guys Can, dig for it mm -hmm. and then compile, compile it into it, a database right, exactly. that, that makes it easy to understand. Yep. So people don't have to go looking through all of the, you know, public and putting it records together. and putting it together. Yep, exactly. um, what kind have what kind of uh, feedback have you gotten from the judges since you started? Hmm. What kind of feedback? Well, you know, usually if they speak with us, it's generally good feedback. Um, I would imagine that the ones that don't speak to us have <laughs> other opinions. Yes. But generally, if they communicate with us, you know, they're respectful and nice, and they appreciate what we do. Yeah. So you don't doesn't. you don't have any that are saying you guys shouldn't be doing this. We don't want you to do this or you, you know, know. Not that I r remember or okay. have heard that. No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure well, some of cool. them think that. Well, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm sure just like anything else, the the good judges, right. if you want to use that term, would support you. Exactly. And and mm -hmm. say and and I know that um, I had had a discussion with Alex at one time. Um, and, and Alex is your husband, right. correct? Mm -hmm. And he's, this was his baby. He started this uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, he did. My conversation with him was that um, the, the, uh, just because a judge's decision has been overturned by the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. the, the Nevada State Supreme Court, doesn't mean that they did a bad job. Maybe they got bad information. True. So, it, or they didn't have all of the information at the time that they made their decision. Mm -hmm. So it could look like if, if they made a decision, the decision was overturned on appeal, um, that, that maybe they didn't have all the information. Mm -hmm. So maybe... It, or they were just dumb. Right. <laughs> you know, it could go either way, but it, right. it, it encourages them to, 
you know, ask more questions. Pay a little get, more attention right, to what they're doing. You know, yeah. absolutely. I think that our Nevada judges is really good at not only protecting the public, but it also kind of protects the judges, I think. The, the thing that I like about it is that it, it's all objective. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there is no, um, uh, this is my opinion or right. anything. This is based on the information that is taken from the public record. And it says here, they've had this many cases, they've had this many overturned, mm -hmm. and um, this many you know, uh, supported. So here's their percentage rate, or if you want to call it an error rate. Right. Um, but the, the one thing that I think is interesting about all of this is that the only uh, decisions that are getting overturned are if they are appealed. Right. So if someone goes into court and they feel like, well, that wasn't right or whatever, if they don't appeal that, then there's no record. That that stands. Right. There's no record of it. They're not getting judged by it. Mm -hmm. So there there could be um, the 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 information could be uh, a little one sided one way or the other. Right. And, right. and but based on the information that you have to deal with, mm -hmm. um, you do the best you can. That's you know? exactly right. right. At least it's something. And um, I thought it was great because I know I think the last election cycle uh, we had something like 51 or 61 judges running for office uh -huh. or uh, running That's again. And and it's hard to find information about these guys and, mm -hmm. and or know who the hell you're voting for and whether or not they're any good. I right. mean, we've had some on nightmares list. on the bench right. here in the last few years, and mm -hmm. uh, so that's scary. But the real reason that we're here is we want to talk about your part in all of this. Mm -hmm. You are the person that actually goes into court and records all of these cases, and, mm -hmm. and well, not all of the cases, but right. some cases you you record the, the what's going on in the courtroom, just like a television station would. Um, how has that been for you? Uh, I mean, when you first started, did you get a lot of pushback about? Oh, um, I think we did on our first case with um, Israel. We definitely did, Judge Israel. Um, he, you know, it's hard to trust, I guess, somebody who comes in and just says they're putting it on, you know, social media or right. sharing it. Right. So it took a little bit of time for him to understand who we are and what we do. And, you know, we had a lot of... Um, the attorneys, uh, Craig Mueller in that one was a little bit more, uh, made that a little more difficult as well. I think I got more pushback from the attorney when I would go in there um, than the judge. Eventually, Judge Israel, you know, right. understood or just let it go. Um, but um, I don't, I think that's about it. What, what, what's the most difficult part when you go into the courtroom uh, about what you have to do in there. I mean, I know I know what it takes to go set up the camera and yeah. the sound and all that stuff, but. So the most difficult part, I think, is at this point, you know, at this point, it's family court is the most difficult part. I think with the district or in downtown, it's, um, everyone's used to us. Right. So we can go in pretty comfortably and set up and they're like, okay, we're Nevada judges, but now that we're trying to go back into a different arena, um, that's becoming more difficult. The judges are a little bit more wary. The attorneys don't want us there. It's a little less transparent. Well, so. there, there, there's been a lot of um, controversy in the family court system here in the last years, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people out there beating the bushes and screaming and hollering about what's going on there, mm -hmm. some of it legitimate, some of it maybe not. Right. Um, do you in in a family court situation? Do you have to have the uh, permission of the parties involved to uh, be there? You do, and yes, to a point, to an extent. In certain cases, you do. Again, I'm I'm not sure of all of the cases. I'm not I'm broadcasting, so right. I don't know all of that. But there are certain cases that, unless there's objection, you're allowed. It's presumed that you can go in. It's a public hearing. Right. Um. I know the last one we went to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So. Since it is a public hearing, mm -hmm. anyone is allowed to go in there and film this? I, or I don't know that they're allowed to film it, but they could observe it. I don't okay. know if anybody could just, I mean, you can't go in there with your iPhone, you know? Right. So, um, but you should be able to go sit and But observe. you guys, if I remember correctly, there was some pushback. Mm -hmm. um, there was a legal challenge against you guys being able just to recently? go into the court. 
um, and you won that case mm-hmm. um, because Alex uh, is smarter than some of the attorneys I know. Uh, <laughs> but it did not, I mean, didn't that go to the Nevada Supreme Court? Um, which one? The, 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 the initial, there was a case that says, hey, you, you can't do this, you know, whatever. I don't remember. I'm not an attorney. <laughs> And I don't play one on TV either. (laughs) You know, I don't know if something went to the Nevada Supreme Court. I'm not sure. But, yes, there there was pushback, again, like initially with the first trial that we covered. It was a trial. So, And then this last one with Hardcastle, there was pushback. Um, But there was, I guess there's case law that was decided by the Supreme Court that allows us to be in there. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, you you cited that because I know Alex went up against – some attorney and whooped his butt. So, yeah. Uh, so that was kind of cool, you yeah. know. I mean, to, <laughs> it's always pretty good. He's yeah. he, he's very eloquent when he um, argues. So well, it, and 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 that's what I like about I guess it, it the website itself is a reflection of Alex because um, there's no BS there. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like okay, guys, here's the information. Right. You make your own decisions. You make your own judgment. Mm-hmm. Here's where you can go to you know find out if we're if, right or not. Right. Right. Um, do you get any, um, um, and we'll get to the broadcasting part again yeah, in a minute, yeah, but do you get any uh, calls from judges that say, this is insane, I, I can't have had that many overturned or anything like that? Mm, so... And most you don't have to name names. Yeah, so most of the communication, I have to say, goes to admin at our Nevada judges. Oh, okay. So I don't really get involved with that. You're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can, yeah, I'm good. Don't blame me. I'm yeah. just shooting this. <laughs> I'm just behind the camera. Right. So, yeah. Um, but I'm sure there have been times I know that something was pointed out to Alex, like, hey, this is a little iffy, and he'll look it over, and if it's legit, like, it is something that he shouldn't count or right. should count he'll weigh the options but cool. it's pretty fair and uh he tries to be fair a you know? couple, couple of years ago we had uh, a judge on one of the uh programs here mm-hmm. and the um one of the co-hosts on the show had uh mentioned to her um are you familiar with our Nevada judges? And th- this was two or three years ago now, I think. Um, and uh, she said, no, I'm not. Yeah. And uh, she said, well, are you aware that you have something like a 47% error I I rate? This. And, I don't and, remember the judge. But. Yeah, uh, I do. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, it's like she was freaking out. Yeah. You know, I mean, and, and so when the show was over, um, you know, I took her and showed her on the computer, showed her the, the uh, website and, mm-hmm. you know, the information and all of that stuff. And I told her where it came from. And I said, if you think this is wrong, I, I, I highly suggest that you get a hold of them and say, hey, right. you know, this isn't this isn't right and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. But I know she was flipping out. Yeah. And, and I don't know what happened. I'm, I don't know if she ever contacted you guys. I don't mm-hmm. know if, if uh, I don't even know if she's still on the bench. I'd have to check that. Yeah, but. I'm not sure. But, you know, the thing is, is like you, you can't fix if what you don't know is not working or wrong. Right. So before this, if the judges get some back and some come back good or bad. I mean, it's like, oh, good, I got one wrong or I got one right or whatever. Yeah. Until you have it laid out in front of you, you don't really know how you're performing. Exactly. Right? So it's a source. Well, and we don't either. Exactly. We don't know how they're performing. We right. don't know whether this judge is any good or not. Mm-hmm. And, and, and most people don't realize that these judges and, and our local government affect our day-to-day lives so more than any other part of the government. Right. So uh, anyway, yeah. so what do you what do you – what do you like most? What's your favorite part of, of broadcasting this, of going in the courtroom? Um, so my favorite part is probably just getting the judges, different judges on camera, um, getting to know them a little bit more. I One of the things I like during the election is a couple judges really reached out to us and embraced the social media aspect of running for election and let me go back into their chambers and do interviews. Oh, so you wow, got to see cool. a little bit more of their personalities and share that with the public. Yeah. I think that was um, one of my favorite things to do. Nice. Yeah. So I feel like this interview is probably a little premature just because of COVID. Everything shut down for so right. long that I didn't get yeah. that interaction with being in the court. A lot of it's been on the computer. And sometimes in those of those cases, Alex is just there hitting play. Right. I don't really have to... 
Yeah, well, I, I, I was going to ask you, uh, because it, it, during the pandemic, most yeah. um, uh, non-critical or, or non-essential uh, things weren't really going on, yeah. and, and there were there were no in-court things Hearings going on. Are, Everything yeah, was done, you know. Back. The trials were pushed back. Right. Which are the most exciting part of yeah. broadcasting are the trials. They're amazing. I love to sit through, I sit through, like, jury selection and everything, so I've learned a lot. But cool. You just don't get that right now. Yeah. You know? Hopefully, maybe next week or this week we're supposed to have a try or this month, but I have a feeling it's going to be pushed back again. Oh, <laughs> so. so so since the pandemic has uh, since we've opened back up, mm -hmm. you have not been back in court yet. Um. So we were at the Supreme Court oh, just okay. recently, but yeah, for a normal just everyday hearing, not one comes to mind. We're yeah. still it's still blue jeans. Do you have a favorite? case or 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 trial so, or that, that you enjoyed more than any other mm, so favorite case or trial i gotta say that the only trial that i've covered is the michael mcdonald okay which could i could say is my favorite because it was so interesting but it was also terrifying for me because it was the first case i ever tried i had no camera experience i was broadcasting and doing camera it was just it was um i remember yeah yeah it, it was a learning experience but looking back i mean it was incredible not i mean the, the notoriety of that case oh yeah I, i'm surprised honestly yeah but it's yeah that's the only one i have to go on right now so yeah. as soon as we get back open i'll have that's one of the ones that you got called out by the uh defense attorney yeah. right <laughs> over and over yeah yeah on camera he was quite a dick yeah but you know off camera he was decent he wasn't he was very um theatric yeah he knew how to work. well and yeah. that's 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 um um there is a, a a local attorney here that i know that um takes improv classes mm-hmm and and there there okay. are seriously there are improv classes for attorneys oh how funny so that they know because it is <coughs> in, in in some it's manner it's yeah. theatrics right. and how they present themselves mm -hmm. in court and how the jury sees them you know if there is a, a jury um so yeah i, I think that's kind of cool yeah. you know so uh because you you have to learn how to be able to respond to whatever happens yeah um do you have do you have one case that you just hated? You just I can't wait to get the hell out of here. I don't want to be any part of this. Uh, this sucks. I don't think so. No, not yet. I think I'm too new at it. Yeah. I don't. I'm really excited to get back in the courtroom. Right. I haven't gotten enough of it yet. You yeah. know. So, no, there's not a case that I mean. There's some that are slow moving, like the water park case. Yeah. There's not much going on. It's just paperwork and right. filings, but. Um, most of the time, if you can record it, you get into it, you know. It's right. kind of funny, though, during broadcasting or when I'm fil even when I'm not live, people will ask me questions about, so what did you think about what the judge or the attorney just said? And I'm like, I have no idea. I know I was recording it, but I, and, a lot and, of times you can't pay attention to and, really what's That's exactly being said. right. You're, you're yeah. busy doing your job. Yeah. And and you know you can look <laughs> yeah. at it later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so how much how much editing is is involved after you get out of the courtroom? A lot. Do you? Yeah. So what I. What do you? What are? The, what is typically the things that you might edit out? Um, uneventful silences or um, we don't edit out a lot. Okay, like so basically it, you're just yeah. cleaning up the recording. We are and adding. Okay adding information right. and you know so that people can learn what's going on right but we don't we don't really take things out unless there's like long pauses or right okay you know. good yeah, yeah. I, I, that's kind of what I thought from yeah. seeing some of your stuff so mm -hmm. so yeah so I, is there anything coming up on the horizon that you are thinking oh I really want to get in there on that one yeah I think it's uh, I want to say it's the 12th of this month there's supposed to be a Julie Hammer trial there's a calendar call on the 6th, and I'm pretty sure I've heard from my little birdies have told me that it's probably going to be pushed back, okay. which it's been pushed back so but many But the 6th times. is tomorrow. The 6th is tomorrow, so we'll yes. find out. Yeah. But yes. Yeah, so there should be a, a trial. It should be a few days long. It's a kidnapping. Yeah. So I'm. everybody's interested to see what happens with yeah. this. So. Yeah, and it's uh, Judge Weiss, I believe, still. So I like to get him on camera. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much. Do you have a good. favorite judge that you've worked with, or? I do, but I don't think I I want to say. No, 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 that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I do. I definitely I, I, have a couple favorites. Just they're very engaging and easy to talk to. In fact, most of the judges are. But yeah, I do have favorites. For yeah, sure. yeah. 
<laughs> I've yeah. appeared before a couple of judges that, yeah. that <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, for traffic violations yeah. or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I had one that, that I really, I, I mean, it was probably 20 people ahead of me, you know, and, and yeah. it, it was for, um, I forget what it was for, some, you know, make it illegal left turn or something like that. Um, and uh, it wasn't for the bank robbery. That was another <laughs> thing. Um, and and watching this judge, um, how she handled each and every person, mm -hmm. um, she treated them with respect, uh, gave them a chance to tell whatever they wanted to tell or say mm -hmm. whatever they want to say. I thought that she was very fair. Um, she didn't let anybody get away with anything. But, uh, you know, it was like she realizes that some of the things that she was there for, or the people were there for, was kind of BS. Yeah. And um, and I like that about her. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I, I admired her, and I sent her a letter after my case, and I thought, yeah, that's, oh, you're nice. absolutely right. That was cool. I, yeah, I, I, agree, I agree with you. Blah, blah. But I sent her a little letter and said, you know, hey, I had appeared before you uh, here a couple of weeks ago, and blah, 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 and, and just told her what I thought. Mm -hmm. And... Um, um, I got an email back from her, and it said that was really cool. Thank you, you know. And it was uh, it was uh, a, 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 during the election time, you know. She was okay. up for re-election, and she goes, "I'm going and I'm going for an interview, a radio interview next week. Can I use your letter?" Oh, nice. And I said, uh, certainly. I said, don't use my name. But yeah. you could. no, she goes, no, no, no. I wouldn't use your name. But she said, I'd, I'd really. She said that was really nice to hear. Yeah. You know, and and the feedback. She says we don't often get feedback from the people that appear before us. Right, unless it's negative, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, threats and yeah. stuff like that. You know, yeah. car bombs. Well, I hope she was reelected. She was. Good. Yes. Yeah. Good. So, uh, and 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 if I told you the name, you'd know who it was. Okay. But I don't know if she. I don't know if she's still on the bench. Mm -hmm. See, I, I, this this thing with oh, the so pan. Oh, so this was a while ago. Uh, this was probably five, six, seven years okay. ago. Okay, all right. Yeah, about that. So uh, you know, with the, the the last pandemic or with the pandemic and everything, mm -hmm. I've, I've kind of lost touch with some things as yeah. we all have. Right. <laughs> I know now. it's true. So, yeah. So what else do you what 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 else is exciting or fun part of what you're doing? Um, hmm. you know, just getting out into the courtroom and I, you know, that's pretty much all it is. Um, so I, at the beginning, before the pandemic, I started editing and I thought that was pretty exciting for a little while, Yeah. but then it just got so tedious. Like, I can't believe, <laughs> I know. <laughs> shoot, it's like a 30 minute video can turn into four hours of editing. <laughs> five. I know, I know I, exactly what you're talking yeah. about. So um, one thing I am looking forward to is getting together a small camera team eventually. Um, we are about to acquire another camera. So we were thinking of, I mean, I don't know that we would always man the other camera, but maybe putting it in the front, right. um, kind of closer to the judge so that we can see the bench right. um, and the attorneys and defendant and whatnot. And then I can still be in the back. So that's uh, something exciting. We could incorporate that, a right. different view. Um, other than that, you know, just getting back in there, really. What 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 kind of um, uh, from the the people in the audience mm -hmm. uh, get any feedback from them or any problems? So the audience, so people sitting back there with me. Right. Um, so the only time because of COVID that I really had a lot of uh, interaction with people in the audience with me was during the Michael McDonald trial, and I got. Um, a lot of people wondering what's going on, coming and sitting next to me and wanting to know, like, what's going on in the computer and asking me questions. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you know I can't. I can't. I didn't want to be mean, but you really right. can't engage with them. Yeah. Um, they would ask, you know. I don't come to your job yeah. and bother you. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. It's a fine line yeah. to, like, not put them, be off-putting, right. but, you know, stay focused. But um, that's really the only interactions we had so far was during that trial. Yeah. Yeah. They just kind of leave you alone. Yeah, they 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 get it, you yeah. know, because I don't I can't give them too much of attention, so right. they just kind of yeah, let it happen. I remember one time, <laughs> I was in the middle. I was deep in doing whatever I was doing on the computer, and I have my headphones on. Apparently, the judge and the bailiff and the clerk are all trying to talk to me. I don't even. <laughs> I'm like doing it. Somebody next to me had to nudge me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, you know. 
I'm working here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but they were sweet. It was it was good. Have uh, any of the attorneys tried to get you thrown out of the out, oh, yeah. out of the out of the courtroom? Well, Craig Mueller. Every time we were there, <laughs> yeah. every time he was relentless. And then, um, so this last one we did with the family court, uh, the two attorneys there for both. It was I think a CPS uh, hearing we were uh, yeah. review. They both wanted to file. I'm sure they. I don't. They might have already done it. Uh, right. Objections to us being there. So. Um, you know, I can't remember because, like I said, I haven't been on it as much because of COVID. Sure. So I'm sure there have been others on blue jeans maybe. I don't know. Maybe not on blue jeans because I feel like a lot of people are able to watch more on blue jeans easier, yeah. you know. They don't have to go to the courtroom. So I guess people are used to having so many people on anyway. Right. Yeah. So, but definitely. I'm sure as we go forward and we're back in person in the courtroom, so, we'll uh, get that push back. Do, uh, are you the only one in the courtroom shooting, or do you have other crews? Or uh, I used to have a camera guy um, that used to come all the time uh, for the trials. But if it's just a hearing where I don't need to broadcast, it's right. just me. Okay. If it's the first time going to a new courtroom, like the family court, Alex will come. Thank goodness he came to the Hardcastle one because yeah. he could. He had all of the laws and information that right. I would not have had. You know, I've yeah. just been like, uh, okay, bye. You know. So so. Uh, explain to the viewers the difference between recording and broadcasting from your perspective. Okay, so recording, I can, it's a little bit more laid back. I just put the camera up, I hit record, and I just zoom in where I need to and kind of, you kind of have to be eyes over the camera right. while, you know, you're kind of predicting what's going to happen next. So it's it's more, um, I like it, it's more artistic, right, than right. the other than broadcasting in which I'm at a computer and we are on OBS and we have all of these, uh, I don't know how you would call them, but we we have to make a scene or whatnot. And as soon as everybody's, you, you're way more focused on a computer, right. watching people talk and putting up their names and it's very intensive. Right. By the end of a day, you, I'm like driving home like sleepy. Yeah. You know, it's very intense. So uh, basically it's it's live streaming from the courthouse. It is. Yeah. Okay. So yes. that's that's what you're that's what you're calling broadcasting. broadcasting. It's you're live, live streaming mm -hmm. the the what's going on in the courtroom exactly. at that time. Yeah. And so you like that better than than the just the So it's it's nerve-wracking because you can never depend on the internet. Yeah. It is that's the worst part because everybody's especially during Michael I knew there were going to be so many people watching this trial, and you couldn't depend any. Every day you went in there, it's like, oh my gosh, we're buffering. Hope oh the air gets up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. So we have this little portable one, and there's one. It wasn't a trial. A little but it hot was, spot. Yeah. There was this one dead zone downstairs. I think it's like Department 32 or something. Um, I could not get a signal, so I hide it outside of the courtroom. Finally worked. So. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah. when you started doing this, you personally, mm -hmm. was what, two years ago, three years ago now? So, yeah, it was 19, 2019? Yeah? Yeah. The summer of 2019, the very first one was Michael. I remember the first... That's a hell of a place to start. Oh, my goodness. You have no idea. <laughs> you know, before I was on the camera, we had a really good friend, Mariusz, who had a camera and would right. go with Alex. And I decided to go with the two of them one day just to sit in the audience and see what they do, you know. And that was the very first time that I saw Michael. And it was the first video that he was being tackled, right? Do you remember yeah. that one? Yes, yeah. I do. <laughs> so I'm like, this is what it is? Hmm. I thought, This I'll could be cool. <laughs> <laughs> this this is exciting. better than watching it was soap little, some, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, it was nerve-wracking for sure. I thought he was going to tackle my husband. But yeah, the bailiffs finally, five bailiffs finally got him yeah. under control. But I was a little surprised, but um, shortly after that, because I had no idea I was going to be asked to be the camera right. person, Mariusz got a job offer, so he had to leave, and we're in the car one day, and Alex is like, so, <laughs> what do you think about taking over camera? And I, sounds fun, okay, I can do that, you know? So I did, and, it and was so fun. you had no uh, no, no video experience whatsoever before you started doing that, huh? Nope. And it was, I mean, the the viewers were sometimes harsh but helpful. Yeah. Like we can't hear. This looks like shit. You know. You, 
everything. I know. I yeah. remember some of the comments and stuff. <laughs> yeah. But the, the, the thing is that um, it, it's that I've always been impressed about your organization, the group, the whole thing is that you do pay attention to that and you do respond. Mm -hmm. And it's not like, uh, you know, hey, that it is what it's, it is. Yeah. You get what you get. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always trying to improve, you know, your stream, your, your broadcasting, the, the website itself. Mm -hmm. um, and recently, correct me if I'm wrong, this may be a question for Alex, but um, up until recently, you did not have access to information on the justices of, of the peace. Um, I don't know that we didn't have access. We just didn't include it on the okay. on the profile. But do you in, you include it now? I, not yet. I okay. don't think yet. We're it's it's a lot of code I think involved. Yeah. <laughs> so he just doesn't have the time quite yet to incorporate yeah. that. But that is something we want. They're judges. They should have a profile as well. Um, and isn't isn't this kind of turning into a nationwide? Uh, situation. So we do have other states that have admins, um, although they don't have engineers. So it's a little slow going, but you know that's. But uh, what I'm saying is, you are expanding this this we, whole concept mm -hmm. to other areas of the country. We are. I think there's about 13 different states that we have sites for. Wow. Yeah. Not all of them are up. I think at the time, sometimes we need you know we need admins for the sure. states, but sure. Um, yeah, that's the idea. And that's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Yeah. There's only one of him, yeah. right? So one of these days. Yeah, well, yeah. God, that's cool. Yeah. Um, anything else you'd like the people to know before we wrap this up? Or um, I don't think so. No? <laughs> no, I don't think so. so well, see, this wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't so bad. It was fun being on this I, side of the it camera. Was. Okay. You know? It was, okay. I'm getting used to it, right? Yeah. I'm not used to that. So. Yeah, I yeah. understand. Yeah. And I feel, like I said before, I wish I had you know, a whole year and a half of more cases to tell you about, but I just don't have... No, 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 I understand. Know. Well, that's why I want to get you now because yeah. I, I, I didn't want to spend three hours because I don't have three hours yeah. today. But <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, I would like to have you back, yeah, in, you know, in, in a few months and see, uh, you know, what's been happening or if there's if there's a really cool case out there or something or mm -hmm. or if you've got somebody that you want to bring in and, you Perfect. know, any okay. of the judges or anything like that, you just uh, give me a call. You know how to get a hold of me and... Okay. and you know, I'm, I'm sure we'd all be happy to hear it. So absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'll see you soon then. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, everybody. Um, see, wasn't that cool? Uh, <laughs> um, Brittany, thanks. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad. Uh, I know that I had you in front of the camera once before, but uh, Alex was running interference, so yeah, that wasn't okay. quite fair. I know. It was <laughs> fine. But yeah. But uh, this time, this time we got to see uh, and hear your side of what goes on. So. Um, anyway, um, if you guys got any questions, you can contact uh, Brittany or Alex at OurNevadaJudges.com, right? Mm -hmm. Admin at OurNevadaJudges. Admin at OurNevadaJudges.com. Um, and uh, you really need to go to the website. You really need to check out uh, some of the judges that we've got here in Nevada. And this, this, this covers the whole state, not just exactly. Southern Nevada. This exactly. is the whole state of Nevada. So um, I think that you'll find it interesting. I, I know the first time I went on it, I think I ended up spending like an hour and a half just you know going through and seeing all the information that was there, uh, which I was blown away yeah. at, at how much time and effort and energy it must have taken to put that together. I mean, just the, just the because your your if you want to call it this mining the mm -hmm. information on a daily basis, are yeah. you not? Uh, so I think, okay, so he's probably going to correct me, but I think he has these things called crawlers that do right. it for him. Yeah. Sure. So he doesn't have to do that, but he goes. But I mean, I, I mean you still have to pay attention to that. You exactly. got to keep an eye on yeah. it. And it's not like you can just set this up and yeah. then come back he, in a week. He calls it his chores every morning where he right. has to go through and yeah. Yeah. And make sense of it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, uh, thanks again, everybody. Uh, we do appreciate your uh, support here at WWDB TV. Um, check us out on Roku now. Um, the channel is growing. Uh, we'll have more content up here in the very near future. Uh, but just enjoy what we do have. And uh, remember, if you're going to do it, do it with styles. Thanks. Yay. Nice work, John.